Okay, I know this is not the video I said I was going to make when I hit a thousand subs, but this isn't the special. Thank you guys a lot for that, by the way. I really enjoyed it. But I just need a little more time, so I thought I'd give you guys this quicker video. Also, this is kind of loosely related, I, I swear. So, season 18 of Thomas and Friends. Been re-watching this one lately for a different video that will hopefully come out one day, as I keep alluding to. You know, there was something I really wanted to make a video on. This season, more than I think any other in the whole show, connects really well to its yearly DVD movie. Let's go into it. So if somehow you guys aren't aware, every year for most of the CGI era's run and the very occasional model season's run, a DVD movie would come into play that would release in between a season and kind of hype you up for the season. Or sometimes would be produced after, like in Great Discovery's case, but that's besides the point. But sometimes the season in tandem either is barely connected or isn't connected at all because it's like a prequel to that season. However, one season reigned true on rewatching the whole series is season 18. This one, I think, did a really good job connecting to Tale of the Brave, and I kind of wanted to highlight how it did it, not only just through the episodes that are directly involved with Tale of the Brave, but with a lot of the themes that surround it. Let's get into it. What's worth noting is those are three episodes in particular that directly tie into Tale of the Brave, those being Missing Gator, Long Lost Friend, and Toad's Bright Idea. To start with Missing Gator, this one's about Percy, well, Missing Gator after the events of Tale of the Brave. He puts in all the work, but then, oh no, something bad happens and he has to put aside his fears to be brave. They did a really good job retying it into those events of the movie of being brave is not the same thing as being afraid in Percy's eyes. A very great follow-up. Then you also have Toad's Bright Idea, which takes place during the events of Tale of the Brave, and tells a slight bonus story within that story, one about Toad and Gator. It's a really fun one that I really enjoy, and the fact they did an episode like this makes it one of the most novel in the series. Then the wrap up with Long Lost Friend, which is just a reunion between Percy and Gator that's just so pure. How could you not love it? These three episodes are really impressive for season 18, as they all do a really good job tying into the events of Tale of the Brave more directly than usual for this franchise, and they also do a lot of format breaking things that we've never seen in the franchise prior to this, or in some cases since. But it's not even just these three amazing episodes that do a good job tying into the season. There's a lot of other little things that I think a lot of people neglect. For example, we got the Samson Saga. Now, not a good saga of episodes, but they do tie into the dinosaur side of Tale of the Brave quite well, honestly. And it makes it feel like those dinosaur bone discoveries impacted what Sodor was doing during this time period of the TV show from the movie. It's also not to mention the bigger focus on the China Clay Pits, which technically wasn't introduced in Tale of the Brave, but it was given a very prominent role during that movie. And we see a lot of the characters like Marion and Timothy get major spotlight roles. Again, they really set this up pretty well, and it does tie in pretty heavily seeing this location throughout. Compare that to Season 16, where we saw the Blue Mountain Quarry a total of one time. It felt like them reusing the China Clay Pits made this a location in the season. But even then, we still got very, very minor and probably not intentional, but I picked up on it a lot anyways, sightings of Tale of the Brave influence in season 18, specifically with how much fear can be seen in the season. Not the same kind of scary fear, like say flatbeds of fear, though that is a good example, but we get to see a lot of mental ways fear could be featured. For example, not so slow coaches, the fear of Thomas losing Annie and Clarabelle, or Toby and Signals cross with the fear of the Signals. <sighs> that one's really dumb, but still. Or maybe the fear of not getting the kids home for Christmas and something like Last Train for Christmas. Again, it's little things, but it really makes this season feel more connected to Tale of the Brave than any other season that connects to its said season. And for that, I think season 18 deserves a lot of credit for how well it ties into its yearly DVD movie as a whole. I just want to reiterate, this is not the 1,000 sub special video that's coming next time, I swear. 
Just this was a little thing I wanted to finish off because I was working on this before I hit a thousand. And also I'm still working on that video basically as we speak. Uh, but yeah, this is something I picked up on in season 18 and I thought it was worth highlighting. Tell me what you guys think of season 18 or how it ties into Tale of the Brave. And thank you guys for watching and especially thanks for a thousand subs. Can't wait to see you next time when I rank every Thomas movie. Get to hear my thoughts on Tale of the Brave even more there.